Why are you here is not to solve a problem as existential as this. On May 24th, America witnessed the second worst school shooting in its history. Oh my Gosh. goodness, we have just gotten devastating news. Investigators are now saying the accused gunman barricaded himself inside a classroom, killing 19 children and two teachers inside that classroom. Reminding people of a stark reality. This year there have been no school shootings in England. This year there have been no school shootings in Japan. This year there have been 27 school shootings in America. Nowhere else do little kids go to school thinking that they might be shot that day. When are we gonna do something? But why does this keep happening in the US and what can be done to fix it? They had their entire lives ahead of them. Each person who was stolen from us yesterday had a full life ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations. So tonight, I asked the nation to pray for them. Yet, until recently, lawmakers had failed to pass nearly 20 gun reform measures. Well, this bill doesn't do everything I want. It does include actions I've long called for that are gonna save lives. On June 25th, President Biden signed into law the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which includes enhanced background checks for people under 21, funding to incentivize states to pass red flag laws, and closes the boyfriend loophole, which prevents people convicted of domestic abuse from owning a gun. It's really important for gun owners to take the lead in promoting gun safety. Many of us have been trained in gun safety. We're um, familiar with firearms, and we recognize and believe that firearms can be a useful tool for hunting, for uh, target shooting, but they're, they're also a deadly weapon. And gun owners have a responsibility to um, help ensure that these weapons are not used to harm the public. And although a recent CBS News poll found that 54% of Americans want stricter laws covering the sale of guns, there's still a stark divide along party lines. Sit down. You're out of, you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey. After an sit down. Get out of the next shooting hey. is right now, and you are doing nothing. Democrats, in this case, who are in favor of, of stricter gun control measures, uh, really pushing for progress on that. And you will see Republicans making comments about it's not guns that kill people, it's people who kill people, and a discussion, no doubt, of mental health. Anybody who shoots somebody else has a mental health challenge, period. From past experience of the most effective tool for keeping kids safe, uh, is armed law enforcement on the campus. He had weapons that were just as, if not more powerful than the police had. Our police are outgunned. Since 2018, there have been 119 school shootings in the U.S. And what research suggests that it comes down to is that there is such enormous access to firearms in this country and that we have not historically taken the kinds of steps that would prevent mass violence that other countries have taken after experiencing these tragedies. When compared to other countries like neighboring Canada, the U.S. lags behind on gun reform. Canada is reeling from the deadliest mass shooting in its history. In 2020, a man killed 22 people. Their families deserve more than thoughts and prayers. And in less than two weeks, action was taken. We are closing the market for military-grade assault weapons in Canada. We are banning 1,500 models and variants of these firearms by way of regulations. These weapons were designed for one purpose and one purpose only, to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time. And after the 2019 Christchurch massacre in New Zealand, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern took action in less than a week. Every semi-automatic weapon used in the terrorist attack on Friday will be banned in this country. But here in America, the debate on assault rifles continues. AR-15s were around for 40 years before they were ever used in any type of mass uh, killing or attack. Uh, and so it is about the human heart. It is about identifying uh, the culprits and going after them. This massacre in Uvalde, Texas, marks yet another tragedy, one that has become all too common in the U.S. But with every lost life, the question remains, will this time be enough for change?